So this is a quick reminder. Yes, sir. A quick reminder. I, I know I don't have to remind you because yeah. you talk about it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, my my lovely wife Evie was on the the show uh, just a little while ago for Valentine's Day, and we we're doing a thing called First Drafts. Yeah. And we announced that night that you now can go out and get your own late show first draft cards. These cards, uh, we got the three. I uh, got six sets of two cards here, right? Six different holidays are covered in these fantastic. Uh, cards here, one of which is a lovely card that you would buy for a loved one, and the other one in the set is the very bad one that was the first draft. <laughs> yeah. Just a quick reminder, all of our proceeds go to help World Central Kitchen, okay? Go to ColbertLateShow.com slash first drafts. So far, we've raised, we've raised about $15,000, something like that. So congratulations uh, to you for being nice people. Go get them. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, um, if you watched the show or my last show or followed my career, you know that I am a Roman Catholic. And Lent is right around the corner. And as a Catholic, you're supposed to give up something that's kind of a daily treat, which means that this year, I may have to give up talking about New York Representative George Santos. <laughs> because, and, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> it feels like every day we learn a new outrageous lie from the congressman. He falsely claimed to have Jewish ancestry, said he was a star volleyball player at the college he never attended, claimed he had a role on Hannah Montana and was a producer on the disastrous Spider-Man musical. <laughs> and now there are also legal concerns like the fact that his campaign has $365,000 in unexplained expenses and that he was once charged with stealing puppies from Amish dog breeders. <laughs> now, now, listen, listen. I know that sounds really bad, but it's important to remember, it is. <laughs> Now, some of you may be asking, you may be asking, Steve, is George Santos sorry about any of this? Well, that answer may confuse you. Are you sorry? I've been, I've said I was sorry many times. I've behaved as if I'm sorry. When you ask, oh, you have not shown remorse or you don't seem to look sorry, I don't know what looking sorry looks like. <laughs> Evidently, Looking sorry is not one of the classes they teach at Imaginary Volleyball University. <laughs> well, given... <laughs> given his growing mountain of lies, ongoing investigations, and flagging of public support, who knows how long he can stay in office? Here to tell us how long he can stay in office, New York Congressman George Santos. <laughs> Congressman... Congressman Santos, thank you for joining us again. It's great to be back on your show, Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm not... Okay. Congressman, I'm surprised you agreed to be here since you tweeted out how upset you were with people impersonating you on late-night shows. <laughs> of course I'm upset. Do you know how hard it is to turn on the TV and see an actor playing George Santos, who is not only more believable than you are, but also way more attractive? Now, sir, since we last talked, you were essentially forced to step down from all your committee assignments. What have you been doing with your time? Oh, so much. I gave the State of the Union address, <laughs> shot down those spy balloons, <laughs> and performed at the Super Bowl halftime, where I revealed that I'm pregnant. Mazel tov? What's that? I don't speak Jewish. Well... <laughs> To that point, you, you've admitted to fabricating some of your backstory, but you never seem to show enough remorse about it. Oh, come on, Stephen. What does sorry even look like? Is it this? <laughs> or this? <laughs> or maybe this? It's, it's, it's not those. Congressman, I, I, I want to ask you a question about your personal life. Uh, which one? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You see... Yet yesterday, the House was asked to investigate your seven-year marriage to a Brazilian woman under the suspicion that that marriage was just a sham for her to get her green card. <laughs> well, as we say in volleyball, that's a yellow card. <laughs> really? 
You say it like Mario? You say that? <laughs> Congressman, listen, I understand your confusion because you, you now claim to be married to a man, but the thing is, you, you've never been seen with that man, whoever it is, and you never wear a wedding ring. So what exactly is your marital status? Oh, Steven, Steven, Steven. <laughs> How dare you ask me that on my wedding day? <laughs> Who are you marrying now? I don't know. I just wanted to register so I can get this air fryer. <laughs> These things are truly bulky. See, they're bulky to steal. <laughs> Congressman, at, at, at this point, even some Republicans are backing away from you. Aren't you worried about facing some sort of House ethics investigation? <sighs> Bring on the ethics investigation. They won't find anything. Really? No wrongdoing? Uh, no. No ethics. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, well, I believe that. There you go. But I believe that, especially considering the criminal charge that you stole puppies from an Amish dog breeder. Ugh, more lies from the Amish media. <laughs> I never stole any puppies. But, there, but there, there is clear evidence. There are multiple checks with your name on them to the Amish dog breeder. How can you possibly claim to be innocent? Oh, I have... Two will eyewitnesses why right here. That's why. Who's gonna testify for me, huh? Stolen puppy number one, oh, you're stolen uh, puppy number two. Okay, I see what you're doing. Though those are very adorable. Oh, thank you. Do you want them? You can have them for three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> I'll even I'll even throw in an air fryer. I, I don't need an air fryer. No, I mean give me the money or I'll throw them in the air fryer. <laughs> Okay, wait, so you know what? I'm sorry I ever asked you on, and I personally do not see how you could possibly bounce back from all of this controversy. Oh, easy, Steven, with a big musical number for my Broadway show, Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark. Hit it! Don't hit it, Lewis! No, still hit it, Lewis! <laughs> oh, Spider-Man, where the lights go, turning off the light. Representative <laughs> Santos, everybody, we'll be right back with the Reverend Al Sharpton.